when night falls in Delphi, Indiana, and the porch lights come on with a glow of orange, each and every one in the community is reminded of the deaths of Libby and Abby. Police have not said that anyone is considered the main suspect. Though several have been arrested and have gone to jail. I mean, so much has been found during this investigation. People doing things that shouldn't be doing. And there are holes left in the family. On YouTube, there are several, several, I have no idea how many, how many armchair detectives you know, investigative sleuths that are out there that are are investigating this case, that are very interested in this case, that are adamant. Some are obsessed. Um, there's arguments. There's, there's so much going on almost every day involving the deaths of these two children on that small community. The murders themselves were violent. And for people to become violent with each other during this investigation creates a headache. I mean, it creates chaos. And after a, a big blow up between two investigators, um, it just leaves you feeling void, um, numb. And you know, you, you ask yourself, why, why, why does this go on? This, this, this blow up between Anthony Crino and Gray Hughes yesterday um, took its toll on my mind. It it really did. So much was unnecessary in all of that. Uh, there was time wasted, precious time wasted. We don't we don't have time for grown men to argue, um, to fight sling mud at each other, to call names. I uh, felt like I was back in first grade when I, the first time I saw two little boys outside at recess get into an argument over who was going to go on the monkey bars first. And then after they both got on the monkey bars, they got in another argument and it turned into a fight, a fist fight. And who was the best? Who did the most? And who did what first? Kids, children. To us at that age, this was this was very. Um, I've never forgotten it. I'm 64 years old. I've st I still remember it vividly. I remember their names. I remember who they were. And did you know? Still today, the bully between those two boys is still a bully. I'm not calling names. One of those two boys goes about his day 
enjoys his work, loves his home, has beautiful home, landscape, flower, shrubs, enjoys and does not have one bitter, hateful thing to say on the internet. The other one always has his nose in someone else's business. He's always competing, trying to outdo somebody else. Doing things he doesn't have any business doing. I mean, people people sometimes never change. They just grow older. I'm hoping in the case of Delphi that, that, that these people can, can change. I'm hoping that, that somebody will step up and pretty much take the bull by the horns and move forward and leave the other one behind. Ignore him. Tune him out. You know, we have that little button that says block. And you can't come in my channel and spew your vile venom. You can't come in my channel and call my subscribers idiots, stupendous, nefarious. I mean, he went so low as to call one of them a, a craphead, using other words. You know, strikes down all of the followers of a of a of a channel. How do you how do you do that? You don't even know these people. You don't have a clue. And you know what? He really doesn't know that that um, the mother of one of these girls that was murdered is a subscriber to the channel that he was talking down. So he's talking about her too. We'll see. We'll see how all this goes. We will see. I do have one thing to say. I don't know what will ever, if anything, will ever stop Gray Hughes. He's notorious. He has made himself famous. And he can, you know, claim his self fame. He created his own monster within himself. You make fun of so many people. You'll laugh at people playing banjos in Kentucky. Wow. Wow. You make fun of these people. Of a culture. You don't have a clue. You'd say that someone that's gone to prison and has come out and is on the, the better side of life is nothing but an inmate, a convict. You don't give him a chance in life. I mean, not even a, a, a slight chance of anything. I don't think anybody here died and made you chief of YouTube warriors. I mean, I'm just re I'm repulsed even at, at your name, the name. I don't I don't even want the name coming out of my mouth. You're so repulsive. And I know, I know, if, if you watch this, which you probably won't, which I really don't care, um, you wouldn't, you wouldn't care, and you, you would say how idiotic I am. Oh, well, you already have. You would tell me just, just, just how dumb I am, how lost, how ignorant and just how smart you are.
I can say a lot about the people that follow you, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going there. I'm not. I'm not going to join your band of bullies and taking other people down. I'm not. I'm not going to do it. I refuse to be a bully. I do have principles. I do stand on certain things, and I don't agree with with the way that you treat people and talk down to people. Um, the subject is what you're talking about on your video. Leave people out of it. What you always make it personal. I I went through your video of yours one time, and I counted three hundred and seventy eight times that you said the word "I." I did this. I created that. I do this. I have these followers. I have these subscribers. I am Gray Hughes. I am friends with the Patties. I am friends with the Germans. I know Kelsey. I kicked Mama Bear out. Mama Bear. That bothers nobody. That teaches children. That loves everyone. You made fun of Randy Gar Gravit. And you pretty much tried your best to take Anthony Greeno and Jess and throw them on the ground and kick them around like a tin can. You did everything you could to do that. You came on Greeno's channel. You blew up the chat, calling him a liar, calling him a convict. After he kicked you out, you went back to your channel, and you opened up your channel to a broadcast to the world. And you let the world know that you don't like Anthony Greeno. You let the world know that Anthony Greeno doesn't follow suit with you, that doesn't do things just like you do, that doesn't agree with everything you do, and that you think that Anthony Greeno is wrong for not being you. Now my question is this, and this is gonna this is gonna carry over to another another video. My question is this. When is the last time, Gray Hughes, that you looked in the mirror and you saw just how ugly you are? Not only on the outside, but deep, deep, deep on the inside, you are ugly. You are one ugly, unhappy human being. You are very unhappy, very dissatisfied with life. I don't feel sorry for you. I don't even feel bad for you anymore. I mean, I've struggled over the last three years to follow you and to listen to what, because you have great, that's the sad thing about it. Your advice, the things that you do, the videos you make, your conversation, 33% of it is fantastic. Fantastic. But the rest of it is junk. Is, is pure junk. Is wasted time in space. Until next time. We'll meet again. We'll talk some more. You guys have a good evening.